All right, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we are going to practice linear equations written in standard form and rewrite them in slope intercept form. All right, right here we have an equation that is written in standard form. Our ax term is 3x. We have a coefficient multiplied by x. Our by term is negative 2y, a coefficient multiplied by y. And our c term is negative 16. And what we want to do is rewrite this in this form right here. So here's how we are going to accomplish this. What I like to do is I like to start by just writing this term first. So I'm going to write negative 2y is equal to, and then I like to take the c term and move it kind of far to the right here to make a space between the c term and the equal sign right here. And then I take our ax term and I move it to the other side of the equation. Now remember, when moving a term to the other side of the equation, you have to write it as its opposite. So we write the opposite of positive 3x, which is negative 3x. Now the reason we did that is because we want to get it in this form right here. We want our x term to be directly after our equal sign. So that is what we did. We took our x term and we moved it right after the equal sign. But we wrote it as its opposite. Now, y is not quite by itself yet. We still have a coefficient in front of y. And to get it in this form here, we have to make sure that it is just a y. So the coefficient is positive 1. So to do that, we have to divide negative 2 by itself. Now, to balance our equation, we have to divide everything on the other side by negative 2. So negative 2 divided by itself is positive 1. So that gives us just a y on the left-hand side of our equation. And now we have to divide both of these terms by negative 2. So we're going to take negative 3 and divide that by negative 2. And that would be positive 3 halves. We just keep it as an improper fraction. And because we have two negatives here, we have to express this as a positive. And we take 3 halves and we multiply that by x. And now we have to take negative 16 and divide that by negative 2, which is positive 8. So this is the slope-intercept form of this equation right here. We converted something in standard form to slope-intercept form. Let's run through one more example just so we can get the hang of this. All right, so once again, I'm going to start with the y term, which is positive 5y. So I'm just going to write 5y is equal to, and then we take this c term, negative 15, and we're going to write it underneath the b for the slope-intercept form. So let's write negative 15 here, or minus 15. And then we're going to take our x term, and we're going to move it into this blank space that we created right here. But we have to write it as the opposite. So instead of 6x, we write negative 6x. The next thing that we do is we divide both sides by this coefficient of 5 here. So we take 5 divided by itself, which is y is equal to negative 6 divided by 5, which is negative 6 fifths x. And then we take negative 15 and divide that by 5, and that gives us negative 3. So y is equal to negative 6 fifths x minus 3 is a slope-intercept form of this equation right here. And a lot of people prefer this format because it's pretty easy to graph. All we would have to do is make a point at negative 3 on the y-axis because this is our y-intercept. And from there, we would go down 6 and over 5 because our slope is negative 6 fifths. And then we can make a new point and then we can connect those points together to create the line that represents this equation. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials to my math channel. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.